Hello, everybody, and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I am Shane, and I am Karen. Today we are looking at ABC Talk Part A, and it's called "Here's an Invitation for You." For me? Yeah.、Oh. No, actually, it's just the title.、Oh. But I do want to ask you a question. Okay. How is your new apartment? I know you just moved in, right? Yes, it's really nice and、uh, it's so comfortable. Uh huh. And there's a lot of room, so you can invite people over、Ooh. and get together with your friends. That sounds awesome. So、yeah. when are you going to have a housewarming party? <coughs> oh, um.、Mm. Oh, what's wrong? What what what's that look party, on your face? The party was last weekend. Yeah, <gasps> and you didn't invite me to your housewarming party. I <gasps> did. I did. I put an invitation、uh-huh. on your desk. You put an invitation on my desk. I check my desk every single day. Did you really put an invitation on my desk? Maybe I. Thought it was your desk, but it might have been. Maybe I need to check which desk. Oh, Shane! I was, I was wondering why you didn't come to my housewarming party. You know what, Shane? I would have gotten you a really nice housewarming gift, a really expensive and fancy one. Oh, but there's. Two housewarming parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're having another housewarming party tonight, and you can bring all the gifts you want. Too late, Shane. Too late. Man. Charlie is chatting with Mabel at work. Hey Mabel, how's your new place coming along? It's great. Actually, I'm glad that you asked. I have an invitation to our housewarming party for you. So we're looking at part A of here's an invitation for you, and it's called housewarming party. <gasps> Housewarming party. I know the one, one that you didn't invite me to. I did invite you. And you I gave you an invitation. You did not give me an invitation. But you lost it. That is not true. So what is an invitation, <laughs>、okay. Shane? An invitation is you write、mm-hmm. or you tell somebody or like ask them if they want to do something. Or go somewhere、mm-hmm. like a housewarming party. <laughs> I could have told you, but I thought the invitation will give you less pressure. Because if I ask you and you don't want to go, maybe you will feel awkward. You're overthinking it. Of course, I would love to go. So, for example, Karen didn't receive an invitation to Shane's. Housewarming party, and Karen is upset. So, what is a housewarming party? Okay. So, so you want to like go there, and you will bring like a heater, and your house is too cold, so then you can make it very、mm-hmm. warm. And no, it's a, a party. A housewarming party is a party given by somebody who has just moved into a new home. So it's kind of like celebrating. Your friends, your family will come over, and usually they will bring a housewarming gift. Something maybe you can use or to decorate your home. Okay. So, for example, the housewarming party had lots of nice people and delicious food, but Karen wasn't there. <laughs> well, I said I said there was a lot of. I should have said a lot of cool people. <laughs> That doesn't help. <laughs> okay. Okay. So in this dialogue,、mm-hmm. Charlie is chatting with Mabel at work.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So I will be Charlie, and I will be Mabel. Okay. Hey, Mabel, how's your new place coming along? 
How is your new place coming along? What does that mean when you say、mm. coming along? Right. If you say ask how something is coming along, you what you mean is how this thing is right now、mm -hmm. because maybe it's something that you started、mm -hmm. and. We want to find out: Is it finished? Are you having some problems? Is everything okay? Ah,、oh, so just to check on them, right? How it's going. All right. And Mabel says it's great. Actually, I'm glad that you asked. I have an invitation to our housewarming party. For you, wow! Isn't Mabel very sweet and polite? <laughs> yes, that is. Um, she's very nice. That's right. Because if you invite your friends, of course they're going to be very happy, and they want to bring you lots of gifts and pretty things you can decorate. In your home. Well, I remember that actually I was going to give you this invitation to my housewarming party in person.、Mm -hmm. But that day you were late、uh -huh. for work,、uh -huh. so I couldn't give it to you. So I put it on your desk, and you probably got to your desk, and you're very much in a hurry. And you must have put the something on the invitation, so it's your fault, not mine. Really, Shane? Yes, <laughs> that's my story. I'm not listening to your excuses anymore. Well, so、I've... let's take a short break, and we'll come back and look at our dialogue. Okay, just let me explain. Okay, no. So, so I really wanted you to. Wow, I'm flattered. When is it? The party is this Saturday at noon. Can you come? I'd love to, but I won't be free until one. No problem. You can come after that. I'm sure the party will still be going. Cool. I'll do that. Oh wait, I don't have your new address. It's in the invitation, along with a map. Welcome back,、Hi. everyone. So before the break, we were looking at this dialogue with Charlie and Mabel. Yes. And Mabel is inviting Charlie to her house warming party, and she gave him an invitation. Yes. That's right. So what does Charlie say? Charlie says, "Wow, I'm flattered." When is it?、Mm, so, what does it mean when you say "I'm flattered"? Okay, so flattered means to be happy because somebody has made you feel important or special.、Mm、hmm, that's right. So, for example, you can say Tom was flattered when Alex asked him to go see a movie together. So maybe because Tom wasn't expecting him、mm. to invite him and to go together, and he thought, "Wow, I feel so special that you chose me to go to the movie with you." That's right. So like, if somebody invites you to a housewarming party, <laughs> you would feel very special. And、if、flattered. They didn't invite you. You might feel pretty, upset. Pretty sad. That's right. <laughs> so Mabel says. The party is this Saturday at noon. Can you come? So when you say at noon, it just means twelve p.m. Right? Yes.、Mm. Okay. So, what does Charlie say? He says, "I'd love to, but I won't be free until one." Ah. So, so he's not going to be free until one, as in. One o'clock. Yeah. When you say you're not free,、mm -hmm. that means that you are doing something else,、mm -hmm. so you don't have time to do something,、mm -hmm. right? So he will be doing something else until one o'clock. Exactly. So until is a preposition. So it means to you know it means up to the point in time or event mentioned. So、okay. for example. I won't leave the house until it stops raining. So I will stay in the house all the way till 
the when the rain stops, and、right. then I will go outside. So that would be like an event, the、mm -hmm. rain stopping. In this situation, it's until one o'clock,、mm -hmm. which is a time. So it could be a time or an event. Exactly. Okay. So Mabel says, "No problem. You can come after that. I'm sure the party will still be going." So he said, "I'm sure the party will still be going." Where is it going? <laughs> it just means that the party will not be finished yet. Oh, okay, so it'll still be going on. Exactly. Okay, it will still happen, right? People are still going to be there. So Charlie says, "Cool, I'll do that." Oh wait, I don't have your new address. Hmm. And Mabel says it's in the invitation. Along with a map. Wow, Mabel is really thoughtful, right? Because、mm. she wants to make sure that people can find her place. Okay, so in order to find her place, you are going to need the address. That's right. So the address is just the details、mm -hmm. about where somebody lives, or it could even be where you work.、Mm -hmm. And usually, it's going to have some numbers and a street name. That's right. So you could live on four one seven Maple Road. Exactly. For example, right? So example sentence: You didn't give me the address, so I got lost trying to find the shop. Hmm. So it's very important to know the address of the place. You are going to. Yeah, and then it's also helpful to have a map.、Mm -hmm. I always just put the address into like Google Maps、exactly. or something, and I can get there. What is a map? Well, a map is a picture to show where things are in an area. Okay. Okay. So if she includes the map in the invitation, then Charlie can just look at the map and look. Okay, so it's around this area,、mm, right. this road and this road. It's around, you know, this intersection,、okay. right? So, for example, the map you're holding is upside down. Oh, no wonder I got lost. My map is upside down.、Mm -hmm. Okay, that could be a problem. That would be a big problem.、Mm -hmm. So, if you got an invitation. Mm -hmm. To a party that I'm going to have, not housewarming party, okay, but it will be a party at my house. Will you come? Well, I guess I would have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you need to think about it? Are you going to prepare some delicious food and drinks? Because usually, a person、oh. hosting a party will prepare a lot of delicious food. I was hoping the reason I wanted to invite you is I was hoping you would bring some food and drinks. <laughs> Otherwise. Why would I invite you? Hey, you, you need、yeah. to bring me stuff. No, no. Okay, I guess I'm not going. <gasps> Fine, I don't want you there anymore. <laughs> okay, well, this is all the time we have for today, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm just kidding. You can come. No, I'm not going. Charlie is chatting with Mabel at work. Hey, Mabel, how's your new place coming along? It's great. Actually, I'm glad that you asked. I have an invitation to our housewarming party for you. Wow, I'm flattered. When is it? The party is this Saturday at noon. Can you come? I'd love to, but I won't be free until one. No problem. You can come after that. I'm sure the party will still be going. Cool. I'll do that. Oh wait, I don't have your new address. It's in the invitation, along with a map. Hi, I'm Tina. We're going to look at this lesson's key words. First, free, free, 形容词有空的、空闲的
。I'm free this Sunday if you want to visit me. 如果你想来拜访我，我这周日有空。下一个单词 until until， 介系词，直到什么为止。I didn't have dinner until 9 p.m. 我直到晚上九点才吃晚餐。下一个单词 address address 名词地址。What's your home address? 你家地址是什么啊？最后一个单词 map map 名词地图。There's a world map on the wall. 墙上有一张世界地图。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 A chats with B. A 和 B 闲聊。Chat 指的是闲谈、闲聊。我们来看看这个例句。Lily often chats with her sister before bed. Lily 睡前经常跟她的妹妹闲聊。下一个文法 ，come along， 发展、进展。这是一个不可以分开的动词片语哦。我们来看看这个例句。Harry's English is really coming along. Harry 的英文确实在进步。最后一个文法 ，along with 加名词，还有什么？这是一个介系词片语。我们来看看这个例句 ：My mother, along with her friends, went to Japan last weekend. 我妈妈和她的朋友们上周末去了日本。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见，拜拜。Guangfu Village was first built as an experimental project for the creation of Zhongxing New Village. Guangfu Village is an important historic site of the 921 earthquake. Over the past 10 years, there were many attempts to destroy Guangfu Village. However, the Taichung City government and civic groups were able to make Guangfu Village the first cultural site in Taichung City, meaning it could not be destroyed in the future. Soon after, many rebuilding projects started. Volunteers were recruited to maintain the village. The film industry and multimedia industry worked to create a unique culture community for Guangfu Village. In 2014, the Taichung City Government started a project for young people starting businesses. Through the work of the youth, urban culture, and creative economies, Guangfu Village and Taichung became known as a young, exciting, and creative city.